News 5's John Kosick with us live. Now, John, the Cleveland waterfront is expected to play a big role here. Yeah, Rob, and this move clearly an indication of that. Though no, no official site has been selected yet by the NFL, one is expected to be announced early next year. Cleveland City Council Tuesday moving forward with a plan to demolish the city-owned warehouses on docks 30 and 32 just north of First Energy Stadium. The warehouses are currently only used for storage and we're facing eventual demolition for long talked about plans to develop the site. This is something that we would have done anyhow and now is the time to do it um, as we get ready for this draft. Council President Kevin Kelly says the city has not been told outright from the NFL that this is the site for the draft itself. The NFL prior to the 2019 draft in Nashville changed the site multiple times in the year leading up to it. Nobody can say that the site won't change or that that there's that this is definitely it, but all indications are this this real estate is needed to prepare for the NFL draft. Head of the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission, David Gilbert, says in bidding they gave the NFL different options, different sites, but in the end, there was always something about the lake. It's certainly not right now where they're choosing between different places in the city. It will be at the downtown lakefront, and they love what that provides. It's such a unique space to Cleveland. Yes, few cities can offer a skyline and a coastline in the same shot. Gilbert expects the NFL to pick a lakefront location sometime in February or March. In the meantime, they are planning for a draft that on television will look like what fans have come to expect, but with fewer physical fans on hand. Here, it needs to be gated. It needs to have time ticketing because, you know, you really, you really have to control. Much like with the Browns having 12,000 people at a game, you really have to control how many people are in a particular space at a particular time. And the wild card, of course, is the weather. Not only the day's weather, the temperature high and low, rain or sun, but also the lake. I looked it up. The average temperature of Lake Erie in Cleveland on April 29th, 47 degrees. So even on a warm day, the wind ships out of the north. It's going to drop in a hurry. Now, Cleveland City Council is expected to approve the plan to demolish those two warehouses next Wednesday. Live in Shaker Heights, John Kasich, News 5. Yes, we know about those cold days in April. John, thank you.